Hello, in this video today, I would like to show you how to work with the Sifinity CMS multi-language. Okay, so basically, when you create any website and publish it to the internet, so you you always create a, a module language which allows the multiple user in the world able to see the and understand understand the content on the website. Okay, so uh, Sifinity CMS it is fully support for you to work with the multiple language on your web system. Okay, so we let's get started. And this one is the dashboard of my site. Firstly, you have to do the configuration for the language on the web page. Okay, you click on the administration and go to the setting. Okay, click on the global setting. It under the basic setting. Okay, so you can see here we have the language. Languages. You click on the menu back end language. Oh, this one is only the menu back end for the website and uh, via back end. Okay, so I will uh, add it here. For example, we have the Vietnamese. Vietnamese. You are able to add a lot of language here. Okay, so now you back to the Sifinity demo that part bit. You have just finished the adding language for the backend bit. And but in this video, I I going to show you how to add the multi language for the front end bit. So we have to do another way. You go to here is a site manager. You click on this and click on the menu size. Yeah. Okay. So, for example, for now, um, I I want to implement the multiple language for Sifinity Site Two. I go ahead and click on the drop down under Action menu, and select the properties. Click on Add Languages. I will enter the Vietnamese. There is the second language. I can add another language. But I just add two in this demo and click on the search changes. Okay, and now I come back to the Sifinity. Side two. Okay, click on passes. Here, you can see after you uh, after you select the multiple language here, you are able to see on the passes we have the uh, the system has the add a new column. It called it translation. We have the English. And Vietnamese and the Vietnamese uh, in English is the default language for now. You are able to filter English. Okay, so now for example, you when you see the uh, the cycle button in English, it is the uh, blue here. So meaning uh, the content on you you have the content for this page in English. And when you can see here the Vietnamese, it is gray, so you don't have the content for this one. You go ahead to click on Vietnamese here. So then, for now, you have to enter the content for Vietnamese page. I will name it 
new new is translated into Vietnamese is tinted. Okay, so click on this one. Yeah, so here you can start to uh, to go on the new pages, uh, the, the, the new uh, the new page for for Vietnamese language. You are able to copy the content from the original language, I mean the English, or you are able to start it from the scratch. And for now, I um, will copy the content from the original language for this page and also structure for this. And after that, I will change the the, the, the content on that page later <coughs> done okay here you can see for now we have the data for the home page it have been trained to uh, had been copied into the new language okay i go ahead to delete this one delete to okay so I go ahead to copy a uh, it to layout okay so I will copy the data here for you the content below and on the right side i will cop i will create a navigation in the language navigation which allow the user to select the language to train the content viewing okay so now it includes the current language in the selector the option one is hide the link to the missing translation okay so it means if uh, for example you have the content on new space uh, in the elite version and don't have the content on the Vietnamese version so it will hide the link when you switch it to the uh, Vietnamese language and the option to it you will be redirect to the home page in the language it is missing the translation it should be drop down set here publish enter the content This is a language in Vietnamese. Publish. You yeah. So you can see for now we the the, the Vietnamese button is also blue. Click click on, click on the edit English. Back to basis. English okay publish Okay, so now click on the view button. Okay, so currently the service is not available, so I have to open the IS server and click start the service for this link. Because currently I'm, I'm disabled the IS server for this one. Okay. Try it again. Oh. 
Okay, so this is content in Alec. And when you click on the drop down menu here and select the thing with another language, it is Vietnamese. So it will direct you to the another page which displays the content in Vietnamese. Okay. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to work with the multiple language in the Sifinity on the website uh, by using the Sifinity CMS. Okay, so basically the Sifinity CMS is fully support for managing the multiple language in the system, and you just follow uh, the, uh, the the translation by entering the content over the back end. And after that, it will uh, display the content on the front end page. Okay, so I hope that helped and feel free to let me know if you see any issue. And this this video is only the basic video, so you should follow it and up, implement it or apply it in your project. Okay, hope that helped and see you later. Bye-bye.